And it's unfortunate that these things aren't being passed down anymore. Even just skills like sewing or things that are maybe like stereotypically a woman thing, cooking in the kitchen. Now, I, I don't enjoy cooking. I don't like that task. I don't enjoy the process. I don't enjoy finding new recipes. I don't enjoy experimenting. I enjoy eating good food, but making it is just not for me. So I really had to press into that because guess what? Your kids need to eat. Your husband needs to eat. And so, you know, figuring out what it is to be like the hearth in the home. Like when you're when you're in a home and there's a warm fire in the fireplace, when there is food on the table, when there is options for snacks, when there is, um, you know, everyone's has clothes like in their dresser instead of like everywhere. And like there, there is like an amount of order and peace. Um, the, 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 the projects get completed there, the, um, the bills get paid, the, um, you know, the neighbors get waved to like, there is this, you know, cards get sent for Christmas and, um, I don't know that it's part of our job to, to make our, our house a home that hums, that considers other people that, um, you know, stays in touch with family members that are long distance that, um, you know, notices that someone's growing out of their shoes and deals with that, um, realizing that we need another set of, you know, another coat for this, this winter for that one, but this one can still wear the coat from last year. So there, someone's doing that. And, um, who's doing all of that? That is just covers such a broad spectrum of needs. If you are going to have children, pay attention to them um, in a way that it creates a nurturing, comforting environment that kids need that creates like a very stable thing. And I, I would call those things that I'm saying feminine. Now, I, I need the masculine to provide the money to be able to do all that, to buy the new shoes and get the new coat and to maybe even be the one that builds the fire in the fireplace. But there is a, there's a hum and a structure that can come from within that I feel is really up to the feminine to provide. And I mean, it's something I could talk about for a really long time, but that, those are my thoughts on the feminine. I think there, you definitely need both in the leadership roles in the family. And um, the, the feminine is, is, has been squashed and almost even mocked. And it's like, as a Christian, if you even think about feminine, you're like, oh, you're going to make me go to the kitchen and wear like a jean jumper and you know, I can't cut my hair and I can't have a cute hairstyle and can't wear jewelry. And there, it, it kind of conjures up this, like all these rules and regulations because even like really strict religious um, homes are kind of like that. And so we have to find this balance of being down to earth and being real people and not living religiously, but also pressing into the feminine. Yeah. 